Okay, sorry. Aaron, Aaron talked this week about really being disciplined in being in rush lanes mm -hmm. against a guy like Jalen. Just, just what exactly does that mean? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, basically what he's saying is, you know, everybody has a gap. Everybody has someone to cover depending on the play. So, you know, let's say Jay will go inside and you see him go inside, there should be somebody covering him and taking outside contain. So just being disciplined, watching out for each other is when that, we rush. Is that what jumps out the most about watching him is his ability to get outside, use his legs, not only for rushing yards, but it seems like they got some guys that can make plays down the field too when he does get out. You know? Yeah, yeah, that's one thing we saw a lot of film, just him running around and uh you know, some quarterbacks have tendencies. He, he just runs anywhere, A gap, B gap outside. So, something we got to focus on. Have you ever been through a uh, stretch like this, like high school, college, whatever, PE, where you were just winning games? And I'm just wondering, like, how you sort of got through it. You know, how did you stay mentally focused and help me during the stretch? Uh, no, ne never really been through a stretch like this, but I mean, at the, end of the day, at the end of the day, it's your love for football. We all love football, so, you know, we're all going to go out, practice hard as we can to win a game. That's, the, that's what it comes down to, I think, at the end of the day. We just love football, so you're going to keep playing and get a win. Do you see that throw flop? Like, everything seems pretty wide and still. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think that's, that's kind of it. It doesn't look like anybody's down to me. I mean, we're all working hard, practicing hard, so that's what I love to see. That's, I'm glad that's what I'm seeing. And... I don't think it would be any other way. Kobe Best believed this in the past, but I think there's maybe a little bit more overlap in, in what he does and what you do. Say again? Uh, what has Brockers meant to you? Oh, yeah, Brockers is a lot, man. I love, I love Brockers. He's funny. He's a real vet. Like he'll, he'll have you doing rookie stuff. But, uh, I mean, just being able to watch him and, one, watch his film and then watch him in person, it helps us a lot. I know it helps me, helps Aleem a lot. Just just having him in that room. And then on top of that, you know, he teaches you. Uh, if you don't want to learn, he's going to teach you it. Like, he's going to first force you to learn. So that's the type of video. I feel like we've, we've heard, you know, whether it's Rockers or, or AG or, or Wash, like all pretty straightforward to the point and, you know, pretty hard. Um, why, why are you a good player that can take that type of hard coaching and why is it important? Oh, I just need that. I mean, uh, it all started, shoot. From when you started playing football, but I remember my college coach, Coach Pete, said, have a fifth grade mentality. That's just the willingness to learn, the willingness to want to understand. So, I mean, that's how you be great in football. I don't think they talk about fifth graders that way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I a little while, but I no. <laughs> But I would hope a fifth grader would want to learn, you know what I'm saying? What sort of rookie stuff has brought you out I mean, getting them food. I think I told you all that the other day. Getting them food. And then, uh, he, you know, Brock is just tricky because he'll be like, get us food. And then when you get him the food, he'll be like, why didn't you get the trainer's food? And you like, well, <laughs> 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 you didn't tell me to get the trainer's food. So he's just tricky. He's like, you can't please him. You just got to gotta keep going, stacking it. So he does a lot of stuff. What is, uh, what is on the menu? Is it do several news in Philadelphia that they call the best one in McDonald's? Yeah, so Fridays, Fridays we get them donuts. So we got donuts today. Tomorrow, there's a little Senate Conan Island over there. We get them all breakfast sandwiches. And then uh, when we travel, it could be five guys, Chick-fil-A, a bunch of other stuff. How important, Derek talked about Alex kind of taking him under his wing. You talked about Rockers. How important is that for, for veteran guys to, to take young guys like yourself and, and Derek and, and Liam under their wing and show them the ropes? Is, it, is that how you get better as a team? Is that what coaches, when they start talking about it, yeah, 100%. I mean, it's all about getting the young guys up to speed as quick as you can. So I think the, you know, the vets understand that. So, I mean, they help us out as quick as they can and as much as they can so we can all work together. It's, at the end of the day, it's all about building a relationship on the field so we can all play, to better, play together better. Does a player sort of validate what the coach is telling you? Does a player kind of validate what the coach is telling you? Because they've done players, veterans. Something terrible here. <laughs> 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 no, there's a, there's a player, veteran, kind of down with the coaches. There's the players that's done. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's side by side, pretty much. <laughs> Sorry, I got mad. Yeah, it's side by side, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> what about for you, just how you've been playing? I mean, you know, coaches have said that you've sort of been on a steady progression. You feel that way too, that you're playing your best football right now? And, or is it?
Yeah, not, not my best football, but I do feel a steady progression. I'm getting more and more comfortable, so I'm looking forward to having my best football this next game. That's, that's kind of how you got to see it. Your next game should be better than the one before. Best game, best football to this point in your, in your short pro career. Yes. <laughs> yes. We've um, talked to the man a couple times, right? It's about like, just the, the difference of technique and the demands of technique and stuff versus college. So what, what's been the biggest change for you in, in, I guess, where you've had to refine your game the most from your days in Washington? Yeah, just understanding your stance. You know, in college, you know, you could do whatever stance you wanted because you were going to mess guys up. It was college. But now it's like there's certain stances you need to take on certain type of block, scoop block. You want to be more in a base stance. So it's just little things like that that, you know, Brock and Coach Wash and AG is teaching us that we, we just got to implement and kind of trust that. I think it's, it's always interesting to get guys' perspective on their former college teammates that are going to be the next wave of guys. I saw the sign and just came back. Oh, he's the truth. I mean, he, he's going to be the real deal. I mean, I don't know what he does on that edge, but he owns the edge. He has every move in the book. And I think uh, I know it all started young for him because when we first seen him came in, I mean, Zion, Zion's like, <laughs> he's kind of a lazy guy. I know he's not lazy anymore, but that's kind of one thing we were looking at. And he came in and he, he's a little lazy. I love Zion. That's my boy. He won't get bad at that. But he was a little lazy. But when we went to pass rush, his hands were crazy. His feet were crazy. Speed was crazy. So he's like natural guy. Then he started putting on that work on top, and he's just going to be the truth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's the truth now. He's not lazy. He's not lazy. He's the truth. He works. <laughs>